Oh man, it's plane! Oh man, welcome I back. Feel like this is a shitty ship. Welcome back to Pixel Junkies, if everybody. And stuff keep let's just, just absorb through. everything without really knowing what it is. Yeah, there's like the Katamari of aliens. Is this like a Pokeball Center? Look at the logo on that. What do you mean? What logo? Oh, that. Yeah. That doesn't really look. What are you trying to do, Adam? Like. Does the chair? Can you make it so the chair doesn't lean back? Nope. Oh, that's good. Ten, ten chair. Well, it's exploded. Is did it literally stop working? Like yeah. Oh. Well, the the device that prevents it from not rocking exploded off the bottom. Inorganic organic debris. Like I was sitting on it once, and it just went like, <laughs> and a bunch of metal bits flew out from underneath. How hard are you on the chair? <laughs> I wasn't. I had it for like three months at the time. I don't know if the, the audience have seen you before, like. Probably, you know, on the podcast, watch but if podcast. they don't watch the podcast, Aaron's a pretty small guy. He's not a big dude. It's a shitty chair. I spent like $500 on a garbage fucking chair. Sweet. Don't buy a, a, a Serta chair. A Serta with the one with the sheep. Is that the sheep one? The sheep chair? I'll make sure I'm bad-mouthing the right company here first. It's, oh they're God. all terrible, Aaron. There's a lot of blood. Serta... Chair. I guess they're dragging people through the halls, or maybe yeah, the but there's ship some dude is like blood. whistling. Oh, Dixie, whistling Dixie. Oh, uh, oh. yeah, it's a sort of chair. No. Yeah, don't buy a sort of chairs; they're garbage. Oh. I'm I'm hearing Rockaby Baby, but played to like one of those creepy music boxes. Which, by the way, I'm never getting for my child. My child will never own. A music box, just in case something creepy starts to happen. What if what if you hear one of those uh, boxes that, and you don't buy one? What's going on? <coughs> I don't know. What if you like get up in in middle night in the middle of the night, Adam, and you hear like, oh oh oh, get away from me, ding 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 ding, and you're like, oh man, I don't even own one of them. Man, you're killing kids. That's gross. This is the only game that lets you friggin' shoot an arrow into a kid's face. <laughs> yeah, but it's a spirit kid, so I don't know. Oh. You're just killing the kid's spirit. Oh, it? yeah, don't worry about it. You're allowed to crush their spirit, just not I think their going bodies. to spirit mode is better for that. I don't have any spirit mode left. Oh. You don't have any spirit. I'm like the spirit. baby boomer generation. <laughs> yeah, just... Buy your Corvette and be old and bald. And, and, and make sure the, the next now? generation has Can no chance now? of survival. Yeah, you now go? you get the world fucked in half. Yeah. Oh, useful, for God's sake. Useless fucking children can't afford shit all because we fucking raped the planet. Is that what it is? Husha, husha? I always said it was ashes, ashes. Me too. Hushes, uh, uh, hushes. Uh, hushes, yeah. hushes. What's, uh, what's going on here? We all fired pieces. Yeah. Is this like King of the Hill mode or something? I don't know. <laughs> Kid of the Hill? Yeah. Go away! You go away, you demon child. Piece Maybe shit. it's a King of the Kill. Oh. Hey, Aaron, you ever go out shooting children? Uh. Sometimes in video games. Oh. What video games are you playing? And yeah, just like Bethesda games Kid with the Kill Simulator? Kid Kill Mod. Oh. Not on purpose, but when you get annoying kids and you want to be able to get rid of them. Not on purpose? That sounds like way on purpose. Well, no, I mean, I mean, not, you don't like you don't install the uh, killable children mod to just go kill kids. You install it so Rash. when, when you they shoot get an, annoying, you can't. Yeah, kill when them. you shoot an arrow into their face, they're like, "Ha ha, fuck you," and right. run off. You know. I install that mod too, but I think it's more realistic that it's yeah, like a, a dragon attach, attacks. <laughs> the kid runs away. White run. the The kid has a chance of getting killed by the dragon, and then the parents are like, they don't do anything because it's not programmed <laughs> in the game. Have you seen Sally? <laughs> yeah, her fucking. She's mostly her right there. Her charred corpse is right. It's a thousand there. pieces of her right there. <laughs> okay, they don't die in one hit. Yeah. They're like uh, special hunters. Also, Adam, if the chair uh, drops to the right and makes a lot of bang noise, that's normal. Just letting you know. 
if it if it drops uh, violently, <laughs> yeah. If you experience turbulence in my computer chair, <laughs> it's normal. I really got to get a new one, but I haven't. I don't. I don't want to like. I don't want to go shopping for a computer chair. You should get one I of those. I can't be bothered. Uh, you should get one of those mesh backs. Yeah. Can you use those? I used to use those a lot with work. I, yeah, but I find like. If the back is high enough, if it's not high enough, then it, like, I find with a lot of chairs that the top of it goes right across the middle of my back. Oh. And then that's all I feel mm. with those. Fair I want to get one that's air-conditioned, but they're really expensive. Air-conditioned chair? Yeah, so, like, my, I don't get the swamp ass. Mm. <laughs> it's got a fan right at your butthole. <laughs> it's definitely going to be way too loud for recording, too. It's like... <laughs> Working overtime. Your your ass is just that warm. Hey, look, is that plane earlier? From earlier. It's already been tentacleized. This what is this? A Japanese anime? You can hear it sucking water off. It just stops working one day, so you open it up and it's just Filled. Blocked with pews. Yeah, well, gross. <laughs> I was, well, maybe that's not well, as I mean, gross as what I was going to say. Well, I mean, is ass hair not pubes? I was going to say feces. <laughs> oh. There's a fan right on your anus. Yeah. It's just clogged with <laughs> fart particles. Yeah. If you collect enough fart particles, does it become a turd? Uh, yes. Why would you ask that, though? Because it's happened. It's science, dude. Well, I don't know. Is it just... Is it meme from... Oh, oh. I think it's, oh, I think it's the other okay. way around, actually. Is your computer turned off? I think it's the other way around. I think if you let a bog sit too long, it turns into farts. <laughs> and like, your body's like, man, you're not getting rid of this. Well, I mean... Oh, dear. What is that? The smells... Is that an aphid? Smells... Smells are like... They're, they're particles, right? A smell is. Yeah. So if you condense enough of those, does it become a, like a solid object? Uh, I guess it would have to. The question is, if you condensed enough farts to make, you know, a poop-sized ah, object, a Beasley, would it look like poop, or would it just look like something like? Would it be like gray, <laughs> gray and and chalky, <laughs> or would it be, you know, would it look like actual bog? It would definitely look delicious. Although, I guess that depends. Cause I guess it depends on what the farts are. Well, yeah, like, well, the reason, you're, the reason your poop is brown is because your body is metabolizing your poop is blood brown? cells. <laughs> yes. <laughs> your poop is metabolizing blood cells. So, do you fart out blood cells? <laughs> I guess. So then, I guess, yeah, I guess... Like, that, blood smells. Blood has a smell. Yeah, no, but I like to see super coppery farts. Yeah. Man, if you got, like, like, if there's a red haze and a super copper smell after you fart, <laughs> you should get that checked out. Yeah, you might have a cut on your anus. You got a, you got a massive <laughs> gaping hemorrhoid. It's just, it's just leaking blood. That you, you're, it's, a, it's around your anus. <laughs> so you blow your farts through it. <laughs> It's a hemorrhoid, but it's a solid ring around your bottle. <laughs> yeah. It's like a Cheerio or something. <laughs> <laughs> well, 10 out of 10 security system. <laughs> <laughs> uh, how are you changing the gravity in here? I'm shooting these things. But how does that work? I, it changes gravity. Gravitons and graviolis. Oh, that sounds good. Have you ever had those deep fried donuts at... Um, Montana's? No. Oh. They ain't good? Yeah, they're pretty sugary. Are they? Aren't yeah. donuts deep fried? Like... Well... Mm, I, w I thought donuts were fried. Mm, yeah. Donuts are deep fried. At least they should be. And your so, preference or when they make them? I, I thought deep frying the, do the, the dough was part of the donut making process. Kind of is. So it might be fried. I don't know if it's deep fried. I don't, I don't know what the difference is. I'm not 100%, God. so don't quote me on that. But That's anyway. what Aaron's teeth look like before the operation. 
No, man, they were worse than that. <laughs> uh, well, I guess they deep fry them again. They like coat them in powdered sugar, and then, then deep, deep fry, fry them, and then coat, and then it's like it's got like a glazed sugar on they the outside. Coat it of in it. bacon and cheese as well, and then they give and you this like it. super thick caramel sauce to yeah. dip on them. It's like Jesus Christ. Is it like forty dollars a donut? <clears throat> I don't know. I didn't buy it. Oh. But you had it. Yeah, you know, we went out to dinner the other night, and my sister got it. Oh. I don't know why my sister got it because she's pretty uh, conscious about uh, you know health. Well, man, you're at you're at Montana's. You gotta. That's like a big event. You gotta celebrate. A <laughs> big, <laughs> fucking Montana's. Yeah. I'm assuming everywhere has a Montana's, right? Is that like I a global know. chain? It's like a. It's a steakhouse. Yeah, it's a steakhouse. It's an outdoor themed family steak. But they, they have other things. I had a uh, pulled pork sandwich. It was a bad idea. Yeah. Never, I'm never fucking... order pulled pork at a restaurant. <laughs> you gotta. You, if you want to eat pulled pork, you gotta make it yourself. It was all right. It wasn't bad, apart from the super massive fat globs that it had in it. Yeah. That that's what pulled pork. Man, was. that that's my intestines right now. Look at that. <laughs> <laughs> that was that's my intestines on pulled pork. Yeah. <laughs> that's a YouTube video. This was your intestines on pulled pork. Is, is that a, what is that? A walnut or not a walnut? A chestnut? What do you call those things? That thing he's moving around. Yeah. Or chestnuts, right? Uh, sure. Or is it like a super old football? I buy it like like soccer football. You mean almonds? An almond. I think it, I think it's a pistachio. No. Why do I associate pistachios with green? Because they are. Cause are the they green? Pistachio ice cream is green. Mm, that's probably man. That's moving around. Also, they are green. Pistachio. So does pistachio ice cream have pistachios in it? What does that say? Mother is coming. What's this Futurama? Bless mother. Mother is growing. Bless mother's the growing. Mother. Bless something. That's probably that's probably not good. Prob probably. Probably. <clears throat> you shouldn't be able to read that. I like that their uh, language translates directly to English. Well, you have your spirit. That's your spirit mode. Yeah, but I mean, it's an alien race. How did how do you know they have numbers that can translate directly to English numbers or you know Earth numbers? I think you gotta get in there, you know maybe I mean? somehow. Like, I mean, I guess, I guess numbers are universal, but how, how do these aliens know? Ah. Like, why are they in order? Also. Ah. <laughs> maybe it's your spirit mode, like just arbitrarily assigning, not arbitrarily, but. So you're not actually pressing the buttons, but it, it makes you think you are, and then it figures it out after. Yeah. Cool. You got it. Hey Adam, you gotta find a code. It's Denied. Okay. Denied. You're gonna get locked out. Only four thousand attempts remaining. Yeah. I fucking hate that. What? The lockout garbage. It's like you have two attempts left. It's like, all right, calm down. <laughs> it's my account. Can you jump up there and walk through that? Like, what are you gonna do if I got fucking? Oh, you can. Look two at, attempts. Look at that. One six two three. That's cool. How they got to fucking project it on a big ass screen in a room with a window that you can look through. <laughs> One six two three. Sweet, sweet security system. One eight six seven. Adam. One eight six seven. One seven two five. I feel like I should have pressed that before then. Oh dear. Should have. Should have what? Pressed it. Oh. Uh. Fuck. Why are there like scuzzy teeth on the door there? What's going on with them? The aliens have teeth. Door teeth. So you're going into their mouth? Yeah. Does this game have like a, it was all a dream ending or what? No. Thankfully oh, not. Oh man, I'd be pissed off. You wake up and you're uh, railing Jan or whatever her name is and you're like, oh man. That's, a, that's even worse than I thought. <laughs> what the fuck is happening? <laughs> and that's what sex with me is like. Yeah. Why um, did your grandfather Jesus. die in that in that in that situation? 
That'd be, uh, yeah. How's what? your mind trying to cope with the fact that you just brutally murdered your grandfather? That's what this is. It's a euphemism for murder. It's a, it's I don't all... think it's a euphemism. It just is murder. No, no. Prey. Prey is a euphemism for uh, having sex with your grandfather. You're having sex with your grandfather the whole time? Yeah. But you you think it's Jen, but it's actually your grandfather? You wake up again. <laughs> oh, no. <coughs> grandfather, I love you. But it was actually Jen. Yeah. And then she's like, oh man, this is weird. Ah, I see. And then she'll, then she just breaks up with you and never hangs out with you again. Mm. Cause she's all about like, I can't deal with this incest. It's not incest if you fuck your grandfather. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> you heard the man. Just a bit of casual elder sex. Man, don't, wor don't even worry about it. This is a good time. Oh man, yeah, that's where you gotta go. Did you kill your spirit self? Yeah. Are you now fucked? I'm now, well, I'm now a ginger. You Hurry up. What? It's ginger? Chris Evans. Kill him before he continues ruining Top Gear. They look more rebirth. Uh, have they fixed that yet? What, Top Gear? Yeah. Kind of. Ooh. Kind of. That's good. Yeah, like, in the first episode of Top Gear, when the new series started, Chris was basically in every single segment. You gotta shoot that outside of... Actually, never mind, Adam. Don't worry about it. In the, uh, in the fourth episode, he's in it for, like, four minutes. Uh, and all he does is, like, uh, so-and-so made this film. And then it goes off and does that thing. <laughs> and that, that's it. And then he just does, like, the stars in a car thing. There's gotta be a way to get spirit... Somehow. Natural spirit. Spirit. Does spirit regenerate? I, I honestly... This level design reminds me of the end of Alien Isolation, kind of. Not the end, but, like, towards the end. I should play that. You see what, I'm, you see what I mean, Adam? Yeah. Survivor. Got that kind of look to it. You should play that. You should also play Soma. Yeah, I should play that. I don't own Soma, though. Oh. Well, you can get it while it's on sale. It's probably on sale. Yeah, he's dead. Pretty, pretty dead. Solom was really good. Yeah, let's see how much Solom is on the summer. You always kill yourself and go into that thing and uh, shoot a couple of the uh, blue crows. Just do that. See ya. Let's see here. See you later. It's sixteen fifty on the summer sale. I don't know what it is normally. Twenty something. Or shop. I can't see what it Man, is because I already you own it. Fucking. All right, you know what? Uh -oh. All right. Can't see what the discount is because I already own it. Oh, it's fifty percent off though, so I guess it's thirty-two something. Or thirty-three, thirty-four dollars something. Yeah. Whatever. Right whatever I said it was originally. <laughs> Worth it. Good game. Probably. How many hours I put on it? Jesus. I, uh, oh yeah, it's $33 normally. Shoot the one above you. Yeah. I, uh, it's about a nine hour game then, because I have nine hours on it. Right on. Eh. Probably play it. This is a cool game. Oh. This oh cool. no, it's Jen. No, not is Jen. It? Oh man, look at that sexy skeleton. Oh man, is that her eye? That, is she a fish? Look at her. Wait, go back. She got like a thousand ribs. What's going on with that? It, they're they're making her it. into an alien. She got like full body ribs. Don't worry about it. Maybe Jen was an alien the whole time. Full body Jen. I wonder if there's any prey. Rule 34 for prey. Oh, you know there is. It's probably something unrelated somehow. It's probably unrelated to the, like this game. It's probably... Some weird rape thing. There's definitely Tommy Ray, uh, Ream and his uh, grandfather. <laughs> yeah, I searched Prey and it's like a bunch of... I don't even know what these are. Foxes? Is Fox it, sex? Is it furry Prey porn? I think it is. 
Let me see. Because there's a prey boy. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> I don't know what that oh, is. Oh, man. Look at his little dingle. Does he have a knob? Or is oh, it yeah. I, I didn't even tell what it is. What is that? Oh, I was just looking at this bit. Oh. I was looking at his balls. I thought that was his dick. No. What is this? Man, that'd be great. When we get when we get to the day where there's like, I guess that'll probably never happen because we're not progressive enough and magazines are dying. But if we ever get to the day where we can have a magazine with a dude on it with like a full blown heart on, <laughs> <laughs> on the cover. <laughs> <laughs> Oh yeah, just a just a regular, you know, just a regular penis. Win a Peabody Award or something? I don't mm. even know what that's for. Peabody. Peabody. Hey Adam, what's a Peabody Award for? I can't remember. Is it for journalism? That's what it's uh, for. No, that's a Pulitzer. Oh. Thank you for this award. I can't remember <laughs> why. I don't. I don't know what I did for this, but thanks. <laughs> that's why we gave it to you. Peabody Award. I don't know how to spell it. So I just said P like you're... P-E-A-B-O-D-Y. Oh. Uh, distinguished and meritorious. Well, I think that's just a dude. Hang on now. The Nick Peabody Award Acceptance dot JPEG. Nick Peabody? <sighs> Nicholas Peabody? Anybody? Do you know who that is? I'm awarded famous. for... Distinguished Achievement and Meritorious Public Service by Television and Radio Stations, Networks, Producing Organizations, Individuals, and the World Wide Web. Yeah, you can get that from a... From a Internet referred to... Magazine? Uh, by old people. The World Wide Web. Remember when people call it the World Wide Web? Don't forget to include HTTP colon slash slash <laughs> www dot. Head on to worldwideweb.oldpeople.com. <laughs> Alright, well, I guess we're done here. Okay. Well, join us next time, everybody. All these blue things, man. For more so many blue uh, things. fecal adventures in the world of Beasley. That's like, that's like Hydra if the logo was an anus. <laughs> Hey, Alanis. <laughs> Cut off one anus and two will take its way. <laughs> Fist one anus. And get two penises erect.